Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. NASA's Kepler mission has discovered a new extrasolar planet that many are calling Earth 2.0. The planet orbits the star designated Kepler 452, about 1400 light years from Earth. The planet itself is about 60% larger than Earth and orbits its star once every 385 days, which makes its year only 5% longer than ours. The star is a bit older and a bit larger than our sun, but has the same temperature. But the most striking thing about Earth 2.0, or Kepler 452b as it's officially known, is its distance from its star. This is the first Earth-like extrasolar planet found to be orbiting within the habitable zone of its star system, meaning that conditions should allow for the presence of liquid water on its surface. Such conditions are considered necessary for the existence of extraterrestrial life. As if that wasn't cool enough, the Kepler team is studying another 12 planet candidates that are roughly the size of Earth and which orbit in their star system's habitable zones. For now, the findings regarding the Kepler 452 system have been accepted for publication in the Astronomical Journal. Next up, researchers at the University of Wisconsin-Madison have identified the part of the brain where the separate images from our two eyes are combined into one. When those of us with two properly functioning eyes look at the world, we see a single image. But that single image is a combination of the two images we receive through our eyes. And it turns out, according to this study, that this unification of our vision happens very early during the processing of visual information, when it reaches the secondary visual cortex. In addition to being a neat bit of info on how our brains work, the researchers hope pinpointing the part of the brain where double vision is unified will help with the treatment of vision problems, such as amblyopia, which is also called lazy eye. This study is published in the journal Current Biology. And finally, scientists have developed a new material that virtually eliminates friction. Scientists at Argonne National Laboratory in Illinois combined graphene with diamond-like carbon, or DLC, and found that the DLC caused the graphene to roll up into tiny hollow scrolls. When this graphene DLC hybrid material is placed between surfaces, the scrolls act similar to ball bearings, only much more effectively they virtually eliminate friction between the surfaces. Unfortunately, for now, this only works for dry surfaces. Water prevents the graphene from forming the little scrolls. But even so, this method of lubrication could be extremely useful if applied to the moving parts of a dry mechanism, such as a computer hard drive or a wind turbine. And as for the water problem, they're working on it. This study is published in the journal Science Express. Astronomers discover Earth 2.0, researchers pinpoint the part of the brain that unifies our vision, and scientists invent a hybrid material that effectively eliminates friction. That's the good news. And the good news for you, Adi, as always, is you won't have to do this for another week.